What's up, everybody? So one of the things that has become clear to me very recently is that I never did a Primark Purpose kind of conclusionary wrap-up video. That series is done, right? All Primarks are covered, theoretically not needed, but I like doing kind of a sign-off video ramble thing for the series to kind of get my thoughts on it, how it felt, how it's been, stuff like that. And I thought I did. Evidently, I did not. So um, here we are, a bit late for sure, but still fun. You can you know bring attention to the series if you haven't checked anything out there and just be a fun little wrap up for things that I thought I already did. So Primark purpose, the idea behind it was to look at the Primarchs as if they were still loyal to the Emperor and a part of the Imperium and the Great Crusade concluded successfully and the Imperium was driven by the Imperial truth, etc, etc. It doesn't mean every planet in the galaxy is conquered by humanity. It means more or less the borders are kind of similar. No great rift to worry about, theoretically, or whatever. And um, the Primarchs would be a part of maintaining it. That was the idea. And I went in reverse Legion order, because why not? Now, that was the start of it, and that's how it went. And my kind of purpose for doing this series was because when you look at the Primarchs and see what they're about and see what their legions are about and everything else, at least to me, it really dawned to, on me that this is more than just a temporary thing, right? Clearly, the amount of effort invested in creating the Primarchs and the Astartes, to me, signify the Emperor wasn't going to just Thunder Warrior them at the end, right? Especially with the Primarchs. There's so much personality in each one, and some overlap, of course, but there's so much uh, specific methodologies and personalities and capabilities and abilities and everything else that um, isn't necessary truly for just being a supreme leader of a legion to destroy the enemy and conquer the galaxy and that's it. So they definitely seemed like there was intention for them to do things post Great Crusade. And of course the Horus Heresy happened. So when the Horus Heresy happened, you know, we have the traitors and we have some dead Primarchs. So you don't get to see the intention truly blossom like it's supposed to. It gets twisted or it gets cut off. And that is why primary purpose is the way it is for how I look at the Primarchs. Um, you can learn a lot of the about potentiality for the Primarchs through the Legion as well, because the Legion is in essence a reflection of their soul in a way. That's why whenever a Legion was reunited with their Primarch, it was a big deal and it kind of enhanced and stabilized and truly made the Legion whole. So you can get some info that way, plus on the lore specific to the Primarchs and everything else. When you start looking at them, you get to see some interesting stuff. And remember, this series is purely an opinion-based series. It's not fact. I'm not saying this is the way it is, and if you don't believe this, you're wrong, because that would be ridiculous. It's all opinion. It's not my IP. It's fictional. It's opinion at the end of the day. Tomorrow, DW can do whatever they want and shake everything up, right? So that's why I say this. But when you start looking at the lore for what it is right now, you see definite ability and speciality, if you will, and overlap as well as singularities, and you even see some gaps, right? And when you look at the gaps, look at the lore, and like certain things that are taboo during the Great Crusade and everything else, it kind of makes sense, and you can take the leap of faith and apply it to things, right? One of the big, massive mysteries of the Great Crusade that's purpose-built and designed is the lost Primarchs and their legions. What happened? Were they destroyed? Were they called? The one of them going to exile beyond the borders, never to return, to do some secret quest. We have no idea. But um, the little tidbits of info we get is nothing concrete. It just helps spark that conspiracy even further. But if you want to have an idea, potentially, maybe, at what these lost Primarchs might have had up their sleeve in terms of capability and specialization, I mean, you look at the gaps present amongst what the Primarchs truly are masters of and specialize in, you can maybe fill in the blanks with a lost Primarch. That's one of the ways to do it, but it's, again, all pure speculation. So 
I'm not going to go further into that here because I can quickly devolve and just doing a lost Legion, lost Primarch ramble. So anyways, um, I've done those and I'll do them again, but not here. So with that said, one of the things also about doing this series is that I have to research it, right? I'm not just knowledgeable of Primarchs because I like 40K. And it helps establish a bit of an appreciation for some of the Primarchs that I wasn't that big of a fan of. You know, Angron was always cool, but I, I definitely appreciate the tragedy of Angron when I did thoroughly research the Primarch. Um, I also really enjoy Perturbo a lot more. I really started liking Perturbo from um, one of the Horus Heresy novels, but then really doing digging into him. Really cool Primarch. Lehman Russ is an interesting Primarch, right? Considering what he's doing is kind of an act to fit in with his Legion, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> that makes sense when you think about what he is, a Primarch. So uh, it can also make you dislike a Primarch more or whatnot. I was never a big fan of Fulgrim. He's interesting, but then just knowing how Fulgrim felt even before all this, but just really doing research to see if anything was changed and, and, and pick it apart to see what his purpose could have been if he didn't fall to his vanity and, and whatever else. Um, became less of a fan of him, which is fine. I don't hate the guy, but it's, it's this can happen too. So... Um, you don't necessarily develop these or, or continue to develop these thoughts outside of doing the research like this. So that, that was kind of fun for me personally. And I encourage you, if you haven't checked out a Primark Purpose video, to pick your favorite or least favorite Primark and give it a shot. Let it run in the background while you do what you do, uh, as most of my videos are. And uh, if you don't like it, fine. Don't check out another one. Or you might be interested to check out some more. But it's purely just meant to be for the fun of it. It's not meant to be this is the way things are and if these primarchs come back in any way this is going to be it um really nice to have all this info out there for the primarchs though not my stuff i mean the stuff i researched to, to get my opinion uh, because there's been a period of time for a while now that we didn't have much info on the primarchs at all and then certain primarchs we had and others we didn't we we're waiting for the horse heresy books from four drill whatever else and we have them all covered still waiting on the cons model but we have all the lore covered, right? And that's, or at least the fundamentals of the lore covered. And that's great. And I'm really glad to finally have, for example, nice amount of Lion L. Johnson lore. So in any case, um, I could keep on rambling on and on here. Fun series. I don't think it needs to be redone anytime soon. If, for example, in the future, some bombshell lore is dropped and, and comes out of nowhere and the, and the canon gets abruptly changed for any particular Primark, I can redo them. But I don't think it'll require a complete Primark redo uh, at all, like for the whole series. So until then, this, this series will just remain as it is, as a, a resource should people desire to check it out. And having said that, the Great Crusade time period is my, uh, you know, Horse Heresy time period is my favorite. This is where I feel the Thousand Suns are at their best. This is my favorite visuals of the First Legion, and so on and so forth. Uh, and I say that because there's more Horus Heresy Great Crusade content to come here, including a re re redo or a re redo. I, I don't know. I've redone it before, but I'm redoing it again because needs to happen for pre-heresy and codices i don't want to do that for a while we have uh i think the beginnings of the ability to start it right it's going to be intermittent until we get some more codex coverage for stuff but um that will be happening on the horizon at some point sooner rather than later so that's some food for thought for you. In any case, thanks so much for tuning into this one and stopping by. If you haven't checked out our Primark Purpose, give it a shot. If you have and you hated it, that's fine. If not, you know, hopefully you had some type of enjoyment. You know, I, I am just me, so I can't please everybody, but I try to make them at least interesting and just be a resource, not fact. Again, it's not fact, it's opinion. So with that said, keep that in mind when you post your comments and thoughts on a particular primark as well. And until the next one, take it easy.